Okay, so let's get into it. Back. Today's video is aimed specifically at Logic Pro X users. I do try my best to make videos that are fairly generic in as much as the skills and techniques are transferable across different doors. But this one is very specific to Logic Pro users. And I'm going to focus on three very important power tips that are really going to help you in your music production and sound engineering tasks. We'll be focusing specifically on adjusting note or event position using keyboard shortcuts and the transform editor window. Okay. Now remember, if you're feeling what I'm doing, it's always great if you can drop me a comment just to say what you think and like and subscribe to the channel. I also try my best to use material that I've actually released or in the process of releasing. And this particular song is called Girls and is about to be released in about a week's time. So do check it out. Now here's a little taste of it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how you can now really quickly and easily transpose notes or events in Logic. I'm going to be focusing on this vibraphone uh, region right here. And let me just play back the section for you. Okay, cool. Now the first method is I'm going to double click on here into the region. And let's just crunch this down like so. Okay, so within this region, we've got all these notes and I want to transpose them uh, to a different position. The traditional way is to use the key command, command A, select all, and then just shift up and down. The difficulty with this is you can actually slide the note out of position horizontally. And we don't want that. We wanna be able to just quickly um, uh, transposed up or down. So I'm just going to release that undo command Z. Okay, that's back to normal. Cool. Now here's your tip. Make sure all is selected again, um, command A to select all and hold down the option key and use the arrow now uh, buttons on your keyboard. And we are able to now move them up or down and transpose them up or down. There you go, okay? So that's one method, let's come out from there. The other method is right here now. So I'm just selecting the part, okay? I'm gonna play back. And again, I'm gonna hold down the option key and I'm gonna move, I'm gonna use my up and down arrows. Can you hear that? Let's solo this. And again, I'm gonna hold down the option key and then move up and down, just going down at the moment. And you can hear the notes being transposed. Also, you can see right here, we've got minus three here. And so this tells us that we have dropped the note position three places. Let's move that back up. Okay, let's bring that back in. Let's see what we've got. Let's drop back down. There you go, that's perfect, that's great. And that not only works on things such as keyboard, you can use it for drums as well. I mean, as long as the samples are in there, the same principle applies. So I haven't got any other samples in here, but again, I could highlight these, for example, and I can use the key command, option, up arrow, and move the snares up. If I had snares mapped all along here, I'd be able to audition these snare hits um, against the different samples until I find a sample that really works within the arrangement. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, let's undo that command Z and we're back to normal. 
That's how you really quickly transpose notes in a region, either in the piano roll editor or in the main arrange window. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna demonstrate, again, relates to positioning. Um, and this is to do with region positioning. So at the moment, I've got this region. If I was to click and hold here, you'd see the position is at a bar 17 and you've got one, 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 okay? So that's exactly on the bar right here, okay? This is where this uh, region is positioned. However, if I wanted to nudge this either to the left or to the right, I can use the key command option and left arrow or right arrow. So I'm gonna use left arrow and I'm, I'm, I'm moving or nudging to the left or to the right this way if I use the right arrow. Now the amount of movement depends on the incremental setting. If say for example, I wanted to nudge in smaller increments, I'd need to change that. So let's open up the toolbar and we're gonna use the key command, control, option, command and press T. And here's our toolbar right here. And up here is where we set the nudge amount, okay? So at the moment we're on division and what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it real small down to sort of ticks, okay? So if we set to ticks, we will now be moving at very, very small increments, okay? So once again, I'm gonna hold down the option key, make sure this is clicked. Hold down the option key and now actually hitting the right arrow key. Let's zoom right in here so you can see what's going on. So I'm still on ticks and once more, I'm gonna hold down the option key and press, this time I'm gonna press the left arrow button. And as you can see, I'm coming all the way back in to here, all right? If I was to click and hold, I can see I'm at 17114, I want it at 17111, okay? So keep going like that, 17111. If let's say, for example, I ended up here 17, uh, one, let's click on that. I was at 17, um, one, one, 10. Um, a quick way of actually getting this exactly on back onto the bar. What we do is we use a key command D letter D on the keyboard, and that opens up the list editor. So because this region is selected, we're looking at all of the events within this region. We don't want to tamper with these. What we want to do is we want to mess with the actual region itself. So you come here and you hit this up arrow. And now this is what we want to mess with down here. You can see it there, right? And all we do is we simply click and drag here, right back to 111. All right, and now that region has been reset to 111, okay? So that's quite a handy little exercise. First of all, we've covered using the option left and right arrow keys to nudge your region to the left or to the right. We've also used the key command, uh, control, option, command, T, to open and close the toolbar, like so. And we've adjusted the nudge value right here, okay? So this is a very, very small increment ticks. And finally, we've used the list editor window using key command D to open up, and we used uh, the up arrow to get up to sort of the region level and selected the part that we wanted to adjust, click, drag the position counter, until we're satisfied. So that one I'm sure is gonna help you in terms of your positioning as well. And the same technique also works with individual notes. So let me show you real quick. So let's say for example, we wanted to move all of these notes slightly one way or the other. Command A to select all. And then let's actually change the value here to, I don't know, 10 ticks. Okay, and then option. And now we're gonna use the right arrow key. And as you can see, you can see the value is actually moving over here by 10 ticks at a time. Okay, and there you go. I'm just gonna undo that. So that's how you adjust your note value using these note positioning key commands. Okay, so now this tip is really going to help you, especially for you guys who like to create a bit of looseness in your programming, just to loosen things up so it's not too tight and rigid. Now at the moment, um, I've got 
this drum section right here and my snare drum is quantized on one sixteenth division. Okay, now it's really tight. Let's have let's have, have a li listen to this. Cool. Now I've got some more drums in this sort of groove right here. So this is that's another snare and a clap. Let's zoom in a bit. They're a bit more loose, which is kind of cool. It's sort of what I'm looking for. I want to create a bit more of a laid back snare sound. All right. So what I'm going to do is come back to my snare up here. Let's collapse this down. All right. So I'm just looking at the snare. All right. So that's, that's your button there to collapse. Okay. So I'm just going to come up here and select that. And we've got all of our snare selected. Let me zoom in a bit. And now I'm going to just drag this slightly so my snares are a little bit later until I'm happy with the sound I'm getting. Okay, that's cool. I, I'm feeling that. What is that? Um, okay. Yeah, let's work with that. So if you notice here, I'm going to click and hold and you see I've got 17 to 155. The number I'm really interested in is the 55 five on the end. That was previously one. Let's pull that back to there. As you can see now, it's 17 to 1, 1. We're moving it out and we got to about position 55 five, about there. And that's, I was kind of happy with the sound. So let's play that back one more time. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to run with that for now. Um, so I know that um, in terms of where my snares should be landing is at that position. Um, and as you can see, you've got 182155, and this one here will be 184155. It's the 55 five at the end. That's the bit that I'm, I, I want to adjust. So I'm going to undo this by just hitting quantize again. I'm going to hit Q and I'm going to show you how this trick works. So just come out of there. Whilst I've got my snares selected, I'm going to use the key command, command nine, to open up the transform editor window. Now I use this all the time. It's the, probably one of my favorite tools in Logic when it comes to editing MIDI. It's absolutely brilliant. I was using the fixed velocity function earlier. Now I'm going to create something brand new. We're going to be focused on position, all right? So you've got all of these options here, but the one I want to focus on is position. So to do that now is you come up here and you click here and you go to create new transform set. Let's rename that. And I'm going to do note position plus five, five. Okay. You'll see it, it will all make sense in a minute. So under here now we come under the position column, you come down to here and where it says through, hit create. All right. All right. So that's saved now. You come to through and you come down to add. All right. Okay. And then let's switch this off. I want this on through. Everything else should be on through. Okay. Um, I just want add here and everything else on through. Cool. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to click and drag up till I get to 55. All right. I mean, this is, I, I'm using 55 for my example. You can use whatever works for you, whatever setting or position you're looking for. That's where you set here. Okay. Don't use the up and down arrows because you're going to add um, this number at the top end. We don't want that. We just want to click drag and drop on the very last number. All right. And now don't forget as well. I quantize this region, all of these notes back to one sixteenth. So they're exactly on a 16th division line. So now I'm going to hit select and operate. And you, you see that shift. Let's go in here now. And as you can see, that's now moved to one fifty six. In fact, I've added 55. I should have added 54. It doesn't matter. Um, you get the principle. So now let's come out of this again. All right. And let's zoom out a bit. We've just worked on this one. Now, what if I was to do this? Let's bring this all in. 
Uh, let's go into here. Let's see what these are saying. These are on on the beat. Okay. If we've got um, one one at the end of the position dialog box, then that means they're exactly on the beat. So um, we've done this one. Let's do this one and this one. All we need to do is hold down the shift key and select. Okay. So we want to, these are quantized. Remember, just make sure that you understand. These two are quantized to the 16th division. And all we're going to do now is we're going to hit select and operate. Boom. And now if I was to look at this one, there you go. Look at this one, which we didn't touch. You can see that's on the division marker. Move to this one, which we changed. That one's moved. Move to this one, which we haven't changed on the division marker. Okay. If I was to highlight all of the snares and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to quantize by hitting Q. Everything's now quantized. And now I'm going to add actually 54. So I'll end up with 55 and all of this. Select and operate. Let's go into this one. I should say 55. I should, I should say 55 now. Here you go. Try this one. And that's now 55. Okay. Remember, if I hadn't requantized these and I hit select and operate, I'd be ad adding an additional 54 or 55 position um, incremental movements to the right. So let's come out of here and I'm just going to do one more thing. Let's go into, say, this drum section right here. Let's say we wanted to, um, let's say, yeah, the claps. Let's move the claps to the same position. First of all, I need I need to first of all quantize the claps. Okay, so hit quantize. Now, if I was to hit select and operate, the tool will select everything in this window and apply this position movement to everything. So we don't want that. What we want to do is make sure the ones that we want to move are selected. Then we hit operate and boom. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Let's undo that. Let me show you that one more time. You select the bit that you want to move and you hit operate only. Boom. There you go. Not select and operate. Okay. Let's see how that sounds. Okay. You get the idea. I want, if you want to get that more sort of loose sort of sound, I did a video also on humanizing your drums um, and other parts uh, some time ago. I'll put a link up on the screen because that's still very relevant. All right. Now, the final bit I want to show you is how to save that setting. Now, we're going to rename this um, to 54. And then we're going to hit create. Boom. So as you can see down here, I've got one named note position 55. 54. Yeah, one of the things that you'll find a bit fiddly is trying to rename and save the actual parameter sets. All right. It is a bit fiddly, but I think you get the idea. You just have a little mess with that. The naming part is not as important as the actual function. Okay. Okay. So great. I'm sure these power tips are going to help you in your music production tasks. And like I said, these are specifically for Logic Pro X users. Do remember to like and subscribe to the channel if, if you're feeling what I'm doing. Check me out on social media. Um, the links are on the screen as well as my music website, dospeats.com, where you'll find links to all of my music on Spotify, Apple Music and everywhere else. Now, finally, like the rest of the MTTC squad, switch on your notification bell. So when my next video drops, you'll find out straight away. Until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.